Major Pursuit! Major Pursuit! What's going on, everybody? It's Underdog Games. Today I'll be playing Dauntless. Uh, I wanted to participate in Season 6, Fortune and Glory, with all the cool pirate stuff and the trials and all that fun stuff, but it seems like it's locked behind a quest that would take a, any normal person uh, 48 years to complete. I don't have that time. So I'm just going to play normal Dauntless. Like a normal person. And uh, even if you pay for the season pass or the hunter elite or whatever. This, the trials are still locked behind a quest. Locked behind a quest. That makes me not want to play this game. And I'll try to explain why very basically and very simply. It's a free-to-play game. If you're going to release new content that is free-to-play, don't put it behind some sort of wall. There's a wall in my way of all the cool stuff. That wall is time. I don't have that time. The amount of time that it takes to do that quest is insane. Like, absolutely unbelievably insane also twitch keeps making these weird changes i don't understand any of the changes i don't like any of the changes what a what is all the shit twitch what is all this dude they like Botch chat now. Chat is just fucked. The only part of Twitch that makes it worth streaming is like interacting with the audience. Now you can't even see who your audience is. Makes no sense. Why do they keep doing this shit? Why does everyone have to ruin all the stuff that's cool and good? Why does Dauntless have to ruin the cool stuff by putting it behind a quest that I don't have even though I'm to level I'm they suggested uh, this these new trials to be for level uh, people who are level 20 or above I'm level 22 right now IQ 22 you know what I'm talking about and then they were like oh by the way you don't get to actually play the game no 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 it's over here no, 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 it's the owl. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm just gonna do uh, these random patrols. Whatever we run into is what we run into today. And then hopefully by the end, I'll have some like good weapons and gear. And maybe by the end of the stream, I can at least start the next quest or something. I don't know. Like, haha, you thought you were gonna get cool shit, but nope, you just have to play more of the same. Because it's grind. You know what really grinds my gears? Games that are overly grindy for no reason. Ah! A little grind here and there. Fine. I get it. You have to earn your good stuff. Like, yes, that makes sense. But, like, if it's additional content that's free, that just... Like, I, if it was locked behind a level, I'd understand that. But it's not. It's, like, a specific quest. Not everybody gets the same quest. Like, you start with the same quest, obviously. That's how most video games work. But then, from there... Like, I need, like, armor and weapons that are over four, 40 hours away. Like, I'm not even joking. 40 hours of gameplay to earn that stuff.
I don't even know what lantern I have right now. I just equipped the best one. Whatever the purple one was that they told me to equip, that's the one that I equipped. I'm just gonna roll with the sword since the neutral sword is the best weapon I got. And this is the best gear that I got. So, we're just gonna be doing this all day. All day, every day, baby. Remember when video games used to be like simple and easy? You didn't have to worry about a lot of stuff. Why does it keep unarm like disarming my fucking swords? Not even pressing that button. It also tends to like jump into the emote menu whenever I try to run, which is not the same button either. Uh, it's like input errors in Dauntless or something. Weird. Like, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but it did it again! <laughs> it keeps doing it. Like, automatic? Yeah, I don't want it. Why would I want to take my sword away when I'm trying to attack the thing? Stop. Oh, that's focusing me and me alone. Cute. You know, there's other people smacking you in the ass right now. I don't know which owl this is, because there's like two of the same that are different levels. I wasn't paying attention before we started. Oh, ah! Make it bleed! If it bleeds, you can kill it. If it bleeds, it can die. Isn't that the quote from Predator? Pretty sure it's something along those lines. Swooping? How many swoops does it have? How many swoops can you do? How many swoops can you do? Knock off its feathers. So anybody that wanted to see uh, fortune and glory, I'm sorry that it's locked behind the quest, but I have no control over that. I'm trying to get there. I've been playing the game a lot lately, and it's still not enough. Like, how much of the game do they expect me to play? Flying away. How much of Dauntless do they really, they just want me to play this all the time. And the other weird thing is, like, you, even if you're paying for the season pass, like, that doesn't get you the shit. Like, that doesn't get you into the trials. That's stupid. And the only way that I know it, the only way that I found out how to start trials, because I didn't know how to start them at first, because Lady Luck was like, yo, talk. And then I did, and then I was like, how do I start this? I was very confused for about 15 minutes of my life. And the game was like, uh, 
uh, we don't have the answers. And then YouTube was like, well, we don't have the answers either. There's only videos of people uh, halfway through their trials. Like, they've already started it. They already did it. Because that's all they do is play Dauntless. They're being paid by Epic Games to play Dauntless. So they're the only people that have actually done it. <laughs> so the only way I found out was I had to go to the Epic freaking website, type in Dauntless, search trials, and then it, in this very small text on the side of the screen, it was like, in order to start the trials, you are required to do this quest for cat. And I was like, well, that quest is fucking 40 hours away. I was like, I don't have that stuff. I'm not even there yet. Not even to the point of having fun. Remember when video games were fun? They didn't block things behind quests and time and money. And you could just like, the whole game was on the disc or cartridge and you could just play it and that was it? And DLC was just like, here's more stuff. Remember those days? And now it's like, here's some shit that you can't do, but I'm sure it's cool. I'm sure the trials is cool. It's like single player, uh, like you have to defeat a monster in four minutes. Like that's the challenge. I don't know if they give you, like, good weapons or what, but you can earn, when you do it, you can earn weapons. So by doing it, you get rewarded instantly, which makes it super worth it. I don't think they're, like, higher power. They might be. I think they are. I think they're, like, 350 at least. They have to be at least 350 because the quest is up there. So 350 damage at least. And then there's like a whole set of armor that's like steel, and then there's a there's one that's bone, and then there's pirate stuff, and it's like all this really cool looking stuff in the game, but I don't get any of it. Underdog only gets punished. I only get tortured. I never get rewarded. I only get punished. I was glitched out there. Glad to see the glitches aren't fixed. New season, same shit. <laughs> same glitches. All right, there's one down. How many more today do we have to do? 100, probably. It's just stupid. All right, continue. Look at all. So this is all the stuff I got. I got ten neutral orbs. I got a feather. Another feather. <sighs> another feather. A beak, some flowers, so now I can hopefully craft something, maybe a grenade. I, I, I need to make other types of grenades. I have like still a hundred ice grenades from last time. People were like, why do you have so many ice grenades? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever I been doing in this game led me to that result. So maybe it's my fault. It's Underdog's fault for uh, being an idiot. Oh, we'll go check out Lady Luck in a second. I'll show you guys. For 
those Please, that haven't so seen it. Go. Yeah, I can't even. Get you are needed stuff. on the frontier. She's, she's right over here. Like a new section of the game they added. Before these were just like empty buildings. Uh, but see, this is a leaderboard. You can get your name up there. Leroy Jenkins is up there. The legendary Leroy Jenkins. And of course, Lady Luck is right What's here. And yeah, she's got us a store that we can't open yet. Oh, I hadn't expected to run into Zai anytime soon. But these are some of the weapons right here. At least you can look at them and be like, ooh, cool. Look at those ones. Fancy. All that fancy shit that I can't do. Let's just uh, do it again. It's good to see you, Fred. <laughs> stay alive, Slayer. I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay alive. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, uh, staying alive. All right, now that I've complained about everything, I'm just going to play the game. Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. Go now. I'm going. Got nothing else to do today, so I guess I'm just gonna spam these quests and get it done. This should be really easy. Level three Nasher. So in these uh, in these open neutral patrols, you can run into anything, pretty much. And a dire patrol is like the higher level uh, eight, like threat level eight to nine. I don't. We don't actually need four people to do this. I could do this by myself. This one. But it's for the rewards. Mm. It's for the rewards, so. All you gotta do is press the trigger, man. Press enter. That's it. Raining. Uh. Raining in the game. 
pick up these uh, bonus mushrooms, because why not? Stand directly in front of me when I'm trying to smack it? Thanks. Idiot. Infinity. Basically just means I smacked a lot of shit with a sword. Is it not dead? It's like threat level three, and it's taking fucking several hits, two thousand plus. Look at all these break parts. Here we go. Just didn't want to die. <laughs> Refused. Probably would have been about eight minutes. Even on the easiest one, it's like this game, some of these behemoths take a while to take down. Just they have who knows how much health, because there's no health bars for the things. Um, uh, stuff. I don't know if I'm missing any parts. Trying to check. I don't think so. This is neutral armor, right? 
Why does it have... Yeah, it has both blaze resistance and frost resistance, though. This is interesting. I mean, this looks like... I, it looks like ice armor, but it's a neutral thing. I don't have the Riftstalker armor yet. I mean, I could fight the uh, Riftstalker a hundred times and get that, though. Like, this chest piece ain't bad. The helmet's not bad either. Nasher grips. Nasher nips. Don't take too many chances. That's what I'm squeezing, baby. Alright. Uh Look at that. Plus one tough. Yo, man, I'm real tough now. Why are the Nasher boots shitty? Like, the whole set was good except for the boots. I guess I didn't upgrade the boots enough. I'll have to do it after I beat it again. It's like one hunt, one upgrade. One hunt, one upgrade. One hunt. Like plus five every time or something. Maybe on one piece. Of course, it's the owl again. <laughs> Wouldn't be dauntless without fighting the owl a thousand times. Excuse me, I didn't even have my sword out yet.
What are these bonuses? Immune to burning on a neutral piece. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> but, huh? Question mark? I don't Pretty sure it did a healing burst too last time I fought him. Which was like, it, that has to be part of the update because it's just it's so weird and random. I don't know what you have to do to get it to give you health. Like, I think it's just a thing that happened to me now and then. Oh, it's the lightning bolt. Okay. The one that does no damage. And people were like, it's good! I was like, no, it's not. The pointless lantern. Because even the short burst gives you, like, no health. Not really that you need health, but I'm just saying. You're gonna have extra ability, you might as well. Get the get out of it. Here comes the health drops. See, that time it wasn't even... It wasn't even, like, constant healing. That time it was just drops. Weird. I don't think that was a lantern ability, either. Because I know there's a... group healing lantern. That was not it. up at the last second. On.
I should have knocked him out of the air. This was a heavy. There we go. Double blade guy over here is actually not using his double blade. Very confusing. Just kind of running around. <laughs> Thanks for the troll, man. Appreciate it. Not like I'm trying to get through this shit or anything. I mean, I could do other uh, behemoth rolls besides neutral, but it'll just take longer to do that. So I think other than the neutral weapons, the best one are ice right now. Like even the radiant one isn't that high damage because I haven't upgraded it. I haven't bought like Valmir. 10 times in a row yet. give people an idea of how grindy it really is. Oh. I 
gotta finish my monster. I'm not awake yet. What is that now? 85, 35, 45, 55. Yeah, these are 10 each on the upgrades. Watch your back out there. I kind of want to do a dire patrol. I don't remember what the dull. I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I don't even remember what the dull arc stone is for, though. What is it? Ooh. This is the uh elemental, dude. Cool. Dull arc stone. Dull arc stone. Yeah, I think most of that's for repeater stuff. That's what I thought it was. Stoneheart Eclipse. Dance, dance, dance. Dealing damage has a chance based on damage dealt to generate a shadow orb. So that's <clears throat> Night Stalker stuff. I don't think when, when we fought that Night Stalker, I don't think I got any weapons or armor from it. I know I didn't get the armor from it, but I, d I didn't even, like, get anything from doing it. So I'm kind of confused what the point of, <laughs> like, I mean, it should be in a patrol, right? So I could just go on a patrol for that after. The Night Stalker is mad annoying, though, especially if you don't have a team that knows what the fuck they're doing. Like, you can't jump into that fight with noobs or anything, because like, that actually, I feel like that's the, that's kind of the skill gap fight, for sure. Like, you have to know the pattern by heart. You have to know exactly what to do, otherwise you're dead. Like, there's no question about it. The other ones you can kind of goof off, and like, just smack shit and roll around, but that one's like, I don't know. Valamir, I feel like if you fight him once, you kind of get the idea, and then you're like, okay, now I know what to do. Night Stalker's like, you have to be on your toes for the shit that's going on, because he's so it's so fast. It's the fastest behemoth in the game. Like, and if you get hit, it's like 75% of your health on one hit. It's kind of nuts. It doesn't matter what your armor is either. When it's going from portal to portal, you have to be like away from the portal. And if people don't know that, they get fucked up. And a lot of people seem to not understand, like, you need to be behind it. Like, when it's jumping through. Like, just totally ignore that part of the fight, which makes it take longer. But I'd rather take longer than die on pretty much any behemoth, I think. I feel like if I was fighting it, I could. it would make more sense what I was saying. But anyway, 
Uh, this is just a charog, man. High level. Did I lose audio? Hmm. What the hell? Oh, I lost audio. Like, my game's not making sound. <laughs> okay. That's never happened before. I was like, he roared. And I was like, um, I can't hear him. And then I did something, and I was like, wait. I can't hear anything. Uh, I'll just restart it. Glad that happened at the beginning, and not... At the end, I don't feel bad about leaving those people. They'll figure it out. Like, you can, I don't feel bad about leaving fights, because you can back out of that shit. Like, if somebody left my fight, I'd be mad. But... Oh, you know what? You can't, because I think the only way to fight the Night Stalker in a patrol is on Dire. Because I don't have, like, Embermane, or, uh, I mean, I don't have Umbreo, or Enlightened, or any of that shit here. Huh. I don't have Radiant Patrols. I'm assuming you would unlock that at some point. It's probably way higher level, though. Is the odd? Did I just lose audio again? Is it the game? It's on my PlayStation. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just going to play without sound. Like, there should be a little bit of music. Is this what deaf people feel like? They're like, what the fuck? I can't hear shit. <laughs> Yeah, all the audio's just gone. It's just gone, dude. That's, oh, I don't know, that's, that's not, it's like, it's annoying because 
there's Huh? I think it's back. Is that the wind? I'm hearing wind. What the fuck is going on in this game, dude? What the heck? It's so we. Can you hear it on stream? I want to see. Hold on. It stopped. The wind sound stopped. Now there's just nothing. It's like a glitch, but I don't know how to fix the glitch. <laughs> oh, my yikes, dude. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be playing Dauntless, because this is technically season six. And this is like a bug that, if this is not new, this should have been taken out at the beginning of the game. Like, on launch day. Because this is the type of glitch that will make me actually not play a game. Like, if there's no audio whatsoever, I won't play it. Don't care. Fall over, you idiot. The good news is, uh... This thing I'm fighting won't take too long. So I won't have to deal with this again. You can hear me mashing buttons. No. Mostly square. Every now and then circle. Square. Square. Ooh. Get that pinned up against the wall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I gotta make my own sound. Roar! I am a behemoth. Ouch. Smack. Roll sound. Smacking sounds. Explosion. Electrical sound. Smack, 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 smack. Sword against rock. Crashing sound. Slashing sounds. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I've ever had uh, an issue where a game has lost all its audio before. Not that I can think of. This might be the first, which is impressive. Like, it doesn't seem, like, impossible that it's just me. But I've seen a lot of people complaining about frames like losing frames i'm not losing frames i'm losing sounds and this just happened randomly now like after an hour of playing it's weird and it's not just this hunt hopefully it's uh not just this patrol because this i this is dire patrols so i mean i could try to do something else after I don't really need to do dire patrols. I just wanted to do one and get it done today. Because most of this shit is for the guns anyway. I don't really need my guns to be upgraded. Like, it's always nice to have upgrades, but, uh... Yeah, I need to focus on the sword. Ooh. 
lightning. It's just really awkward. <laughs> We're just going to sit here in silence, everybody. If people are talking in game, I wonder if I could hear them anyway. I don't know which way it went. It didn't go that way. I would have seen it. I won't hear the uh won't hear the firework. I'll have to see it. I can't hear the behemoth, but I'm sure he's on the map. <sighs> how is this game getting worse? Like, how do games get worse over time? I don't understand. <laughs> it's like, the thing I wanted to do today was play uh, the Fortune and Glory Trials. But that's locked behind the quest. And now I got this issue. I see him. People are fighting him without launching the fucking player. Well, that's cool. Thanks for the alert, guys. You knew I was deaf. Oh no, he's under dog. That's not appropriate, I'm sorry. That's offensive. I wonder if any deaf people watch my content. How do they hear it? That's the real question. Did, is there subtitles on Twitch? There is closed captioning, but I don't think I have it, like, enabled. I don't know if Twitch does it automatically. I doubt it. I mean, the company is run by a bunch of 13-year-olds. So... People are like, are you going to TwitchCon? I'm like, yeah, I'll be right there. <laughs> it's yeah, That's totally what I want to do. Hang out with a bunch of kids. No thanks. Like, I've, I've been to enough cons, by the way. Like I, I've been to PAX and Evo and E3 before, so it's like I don't... I don't need to go to that kind of stuff anymore. Just not for me, dog. I'm not saying never again, but uh, PAX is definitely a never again for me. Last time I tried to go was just total disaster with my tickets. Like, they didn't even actually come, and they tried to, like, shut down my uh, my refund. And then the guy I called wasn't he didn't even, like, work there. He was, like, some third-party random, like, scammer guy that was on their website, like, Trying to screw people out of shit. It was a bad, it was a bad situation. Uh, and then like all the stuff with uh, that girl, that cosplayer. It's like, no thanks. I don't really want someone to poke holes in my condom. So that's a thing that happened one time. I'm going to try to go back to the menu. See, there's sound in the menu. Like, I'd like to go to... Um, I like to go to not E3, but like a a live PlayStation event if they do something like PSX or something like that would be cool. Or like, <laughs> I don't want to say the video game awards, but 
Because it's probably super cringe. But, like, I don't think they give you swag. And the only reason I would go is for swag. I know PSX gives a little bit of swag. That's the real reason to go to cons, by the way. That's the secret nobody tells you. Is, like, the best part of cons is the swag. The exclusive stuff that you can't get anywhere. Like, I have exclusive stuff from PAX East that you can't get anywhere else. Like, I have... You know, sign badges and a, the exclusive T-shirt that was like forty bucks, and uh, a DVD that you can't buy in stores, and you can't find it on eBay either. I tried to look for it just to make sure I got a good deal. Um, like a documentary about Pax East and how it all started, and the Penny Arcade guys and all that, the uh, a megathon and. Like there's, it's actually pretty good. I think there's a, uh, it's like a live D and D game on that DVD as well. Like in the extras, because they do um, like uh, live D and D all the time. I don't know if it's Critical Role or, or who it is, but I know like Will Wheaton's. It's like Will Wheaton and Felicia Day and fucking like some other people, and like Jesse Cox is there. And um, some other guys that I don't, I don't know who they are. I don't remember. But uh, like part number one is meeting people, and that's a big thing. I just I don't think you should have to pay to like meet your friends. I I think that's stupid. So if you guys want to like meet your friends from online, I don't know if uh, a convention is the right place to do it. Because you're paying, like, they're just so overpriced. I'm, like, not getting audio. It's really bad. This is a really bad situation. Like, the only place I have audio is in this main menu. So, I might be done after. I got to do at least one more, um, one more patrol today. I have to do the Night Stalker, unfortunately, which is going to take a long time without audio. Like, if I, if I can't control that, it makes me feel worse as a streamer, as, like, somebody trying to produce content because i don't want to have to cl close the game and restart my stream like that i shouldn't be forced to have to do that if it's a game issue if it was on my end or something i could fix it but i can't like this is i have no control over this which makes me not want to play it that's what it's doing it's making me not want to play the game like yeah i'm not even getting the upgrade sounds this is terrible uh, Dauntless went to shit. Not sure how this happened so quickly. Um, it's unfortunate because I know there's a lot of people that added me on Epic and wanted to play it. So, I just have to go on one Umbral Pursuit. Like, no music, nothing. No, no audio whatsoever. Uh, see if uh, this issue is happening happening to anyone else. Dauntless. No audio. No sound on hunts. This is from June. Seems like it it's happening to other people. Dauntless audio fix. Ensure that your default device is set. Yeah, like, it's not... No, it's the game, not the console. My PlayStation has audio. 
because when I go out to this menu, there's sound. I got like background music and shit. It's actually, I have a Witcher 3 background for anybody wondering about my PlayStation theme. It's Witcher 3 right now. It used to be Sam Show. And then I found out that the Samurai Showdown community is almost as toxic as Smite. <laughs> like, ultra toxic. Which is weird, because the game is like... I don't know. I guess it's serious. But... It's not like the hardest fucking fighting game to play or anything. People are like, oh, I'm a fucking pro at this game. It's like, dude, you're doing like four different inputs. Relax. It's like every character plays almost exactly the same. You're not a pro. It's not hard to play. The game's mostly about timing and countering. Like, that's, that's it. You're not good, man. You're not good, kid. Get good, scrubs. Yeah, I'm not even good enough to take on the Rip Stalker. These guys required uh recommended a 325. So if I get like two more upgrades, I'll be good on this weapon or an armor. Either way. So I'm going to do this and then I'm done. I'm sorry. But uh if the audio is out of my control, I just it makes me not want to play it anymore. I'm just going to uninstall, and uh, hopefully there's another game out there that we can play instead of Dauntless. Uninstall it, because honestly, it's not even worth it. Like, I, I don't want to fucking play this for 40 hours without sound. I'm gonna die. Good job, team. They just now got here. Like, revive me in the fucking nightmare swamp. Now we have to listen to me. I'm going to make my own music. It sounds kind of like that. Oh no, there's a riff stalker. It's kind of like a cat. It's a cat bat. It's a bat cat. With, yeah, it's like a cat with a, the face of a bat. This is probably the coolest behemoth so far in terms of like what it looks like. Although I do like the the one that's like a giant beast with antlers. He's cool. Forget what that's called, but it's the lightning one. Ah! I didn't hear him coming. <laughs> Fucking smack it in the face when it's going into the ground. Those are free hits, man. Free hits right there. I got brake parts. I got applesauce. I got applesauce. Uh, uh. I got applesauce. I got applesauce. Oh, I'm fucking them up now. Yeah, let's go. I gotta drink the goo. 
Let me drink the goo. Thank you. Smack it. Smack, smack, smack. I think had a bunch of, like, tonics and shit and didn't fucking equip them because I'm stupid. Uh, I can't grenade him when he's doing this fast. This is the portal to portal thing I was talking about before. That's like the fastest attack in the game, and you just have to not be hit by it. Pretty much. And now he's gonna s try to sink into the ground. I didn't get a hit on him there. People were in the way. Of course. Uh, okay, it came directly for me, dude. Uh, like, it hits me and nobody else. That's cute. I didn't even have my sword out. Top 10 glitches in Dauntless. Audio loss. Number 10. Number 9. Burger King foot lettuce. Number uh, 8. Is. Um, be, having your cool stuff. Be locked behind a quest. Number 10. Uh, point 2. Is. Uh, having your quest giver. Have big ass boobies. <laughs> Imagine, like, paying for this, paying to be upgraded for Elite, and then finding out that your season pass is irrelevant, because the shit they add in the season is available to all players. Like, how mad would you actually be? I'd be bullshit. Like, when uh, Nether Realms with Mortal Kombat were like, hey, you want to pay for the combat pack? And I was like, I, I mean, I guess I have to. And then they were like, well, those bonus skins that you paid $40 for, they're available in a tower. I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, what's the problem? That's cool. We're not allowed to complain about shit like that, though. We're just not allowed. This is the end of Dauntless as we know it. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end of Dauntless as we know it. This is the end, my friend. This is the end of the world as we know it. That's how the song goes. In that exact tonality, too. How many people are triggered? Not enough. Wow. Can we just fail? <laughs> it teleported away. See him. Wow. I like how you teleported away from the ice grenade before you even saw it. That's cool. Fun, fun for everyone. Right. Attack me. But not the guy that's like shooting you directly in the face.
I'm just gonna drink the goo. Like, the opportunity to hit him is about two seconds of the screen. I don't get it. This fight's so annoying. One, two, three. That's it. Three seconds. And he's going to portal over here. If we get another three seconds to hit him and do like 400 damage total. And he doesn't stay still enough for grenades anyway, so those wouldn't really help. I'm getting brake parts though. It's like, I'm getting there, I'm trying. He didn't like that. Okay, he comes through the bright purple. Watch. Just stand still. Then he comes through the bright purple. Then he can smack him in the ass, and then he goes down in the ground. Comes back up like a bitch. And then he can smack him for another three seconds. I don't understand what killed me. Kill him! Somebody kill him! What do you mean, lock behind a quest? The... <laughs> the trials. The new fortune and glory trials are locked behind a quest. You can only do them if you're level 24. And you've done three cat quests in a row. Which is 40 hours of gameplay, by the way. Also, there's no audio! There's no sound in this game whatsoever because it is a, a well-developed creation. That was sarcasm. You have audio? Well, we don't. <laughs> Nobody in this party does. It just stopped. The only way I get audio is going out to the main menu. And uh, I can't even restart the game. So I'm just stuck here in an endless loop of fighting the same thing. 500 times because this game is really bad. Alright, nobody's nobody's alive to revive me. What's wrong with n the Rift Stalker? Uh, it, it the amount of time you have to hit it is three seconds. Between every animation. You only have three seconds to hit it. Which is really fun when you have to fight it a hundred times in a row. It's a fine behemoth. It would be if I didn't have to fight it 
100 times in a row. <laughs> uh, like, I don't think you understand. That's what is required to get into trials. I have to fight this a hundred times, like actually at 100 times, which would take 43 hours. Almost exactly. And uh, I failed already. So this is a dead run. Because free content is uh, free content, but it's only free if you have the time to play Dauntless every day, all day. Like you would need to, you would need to play Dauntless at least six hours a day to uh, be able to play Trials at this point. I don't think a lot of people have that time. Like, it's just not fun anymore. Fun and cool stuff should not be locked behind quests or paywalls. That's how most video games are, unfortunately. It's really annoying. Like, I am not the only person complaining about it because, uh,. The season's been live for like a day and it's already the Dauntless is already losing like player base. Like I'm not the only person complaining here. The frame apparently a lot of people are losing like frame rates too. Like their frame drops are insane online. If you watch other people stream it, like the game will run at ten frames per second. For most people. I don't I haven't had that issue. I get the audio issue. You think trials are worthless? Have you seen the rewards? <laughs> the rewards are insane. Those are like 500 damage weapons that look like bones and steel. And there's a there's a pirate costume. I want to look like a sexy pirate, okay? If I can't look like a sexy pirate, then what is the point? What's the point of life if you can't look like a sexy pirate? I still got my, uh... Orbs. They aren't actual weapons. Uh, no, it's there's new uh, there's new weapons. They're not just skins. But yes, there are skins as well. Like the um. The Dragon Skull Hammer is more than a skin. Like, uh, there's weapon skins, and then there's weapons. Like, you can, uh, I think I have one, actually, that I could show you. Um, like, I have, where's the transmog thing? Like, I have this cosmetic... And you can swap out any of your weapons to look like any other weapon, right? But the cosmetic I have is like this steel thing, right? And there's cosmetics. And then there's this type, which is a full weapon. Like the weapon design itself. And there's a ton of new ones. Like... They're over here, actually. You can look at them in-game for free. This is what they all look like. These are the steel ones. These are pretty cool. They don't show you the dragon bone ones, but uh, here's the gold edition ones. Those are pretty neat. 
Lady Luck has a store, but I can't do anything with it. Fun game. Fun game, dead game. <laughs> oh, God. Help me. give up. I think I'm actually giving up. Because I can't get audio back. Like, no, I've tried everything. I closed out the game already, and that didn't fix it, which means um, the only other option I have on PS4 is to, like, uninstall and reinstall. Because, like, closing the application does not solve the audio issue. It's just, like, there's so many glitches right now. There's no excuse for any of them. It's, like... <sighs> it's not fun too grindy and it doesn't work <laughs> back to uh, day one back to day one boys but uh yeah that was dauntless hope everybody enjoyed <laughs> what the fuck dude uh, i don't even know what to do now i guess i'll host uh Post my friend and then stream tomorrow. I got s stuff I can do around the house, I guess. I can go clean. Clean my kitchen, that'll be fun. More fun than playing this shit! <laughs> <laughs>